I've seen a California Christmas. I didn't mind it. Obviously, I wanted to watch a California Christmas. City Lights, the 2021 film directed by Sean Paul Piccinino. And I, say I, I I found it very dull. I did not think it was that interesting at all. There were a few characters, a few supporting characters, who I really liked, particularly Brandy. I thought she was brilliant. But with regards to Callie and Joseph and their narrative here, I didn't really care. So the description from IMDb says, A sequel to uh, California Christmas follows Callie and Joseph one year after they fell in love, now running a dairy farm and winery. But their romance is threatened when business and family obligations call Joseph back to the city. So I like the premise. I like the concept of city boy in love with a country girl and business obligations bringing Joseph back to the city, threatens to reignite his love of the city, which obviously could then put their relationship at strain because one of them wants to be in the city, one wants to be in the country. It's a topic that's quite prevalent for a lot of people and while opposites attract, I think it's fair to say that somebody who was born and raised in the city is less likely to want to live in the country and vice versa. We know, you know, we know what we're used to, we like what makes us comfortable. I thought they could have done a lot of a lot of really good things with this, but I just found the execution of the narrative pretty dull. Not a lot happened. Usually I would prefer the scenes in the city. I am a city girl. I love films set in the city. But I actually preferred the scenes set back on the dairy farm. Which for me just heightens how dull the narrative actually was because if I'm not enjoying the bits that I should have enjoyed really what was the point of it for me I'm sure some people will like it it's rated 5.5 out of 10 on IMDb which is not a bad rating clearly there are people who have enjoyed this maybe if I'd loved the first film it would be a different story but I didn't you know I wasn't obsessed or besotted with the first film it was just a casual watch that I kind of enjoyed and I watched the sequel out of curiosity. Had I had stronger feelings for the first film, maybe I would have felt differently. Certainly with the characters as well. Callie and Joseph I found to be very two-dimensional characters. You know, well acted with the material that they had. Josh Swickard and, and Lauren Swickard as Joseph and Callie. But I just found the characters themselves to be quite boring. Not that exciting. Didn't really offer me any sparks. I didn't really... Not that I didn't believe in their relationship because the on-screen chemistry was good. When the characters were angry at each other, you could tell it came from a place of passion. When they were being sentimental with one another, you could tell it came from a good place. But I just felt like they were very dull and not that interesting and kind of just that couple that everybody knows and nobody cares about because their relationship is so just repetitive and very dull. Would I recommend the film? It depends on how you feel about the first film. If you watched the first film and really loved it, or really loved the characters, and want to know what happens next, yes, go for it. If you watched the first film and kind of dragged yourself through it, then I would say give this one a miss. It's not that great. You, It's very well shot, and as I said, Brandy is a character, played by Raquel Dominguez, loved her, loved her performance, loved her energy her scenes made it worthwhile but the rest of it it was a really interesting concept could have explored a lot of really great topics but I felt like it just fell really flat